All right, so today we're going to be replacing the gasket for the oil cooler lines on this uh, vehicle. There's oil all over the uh, bell housing and the filter. Eventually I'm going to change this line set, but right now I just want to stop the oil leak. So uh, we've got this gasket here. It's an AC Delco part. 12611384. So it's just got two uh, 10 millimeter bolts holding it in. So we'll see if we can get this out without making a mess. I do need to replace the oil pan gasket but as well, but like I said, I just want to try to stop some of the major oil leaks here, if that's possible. So it's got an oil pan here and the van is up on ramps. I did just run it to get it up on the ramps, so I expect we're going to lose some oil. So the oil cooler is in one of the uh, radiators. I was hoping to do this without topping off the engine, but it looks like I might need to. When you buy the replacement hose, it comes with this gasket as well. Torque is like 89 inch pounds, which is like seven and a half foot pounds, so you would need to use an inch pound torque wrench if you're going to use one, but seven foot pounds is just kind of snug. It's not very tight at all. So I want to see what side this gasket is facing. Does it look like it's pressed and there is a side to it? All right, so this one's got O-rings in it. The other one does not. That's interesting. Certainly dirty in there. Obviously you don't want to get any oil in the oil galleries. And there is a ton of filth packed up on top of there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's try to bend that up here. And do this two-handed. So this actually attaches to the oil pan. Pan side is clean. Get this side down here. Just gonna get another rag. Look into the passageways of the line. Clean. This is kind of strange. So on here. 
it doesn't have two holes. So that basically eliminates the uh, ability of the cooler to even work. I'm going to take a look at the uh, replacement line set that I bought because I was going to use it later. I might just have to put this back together or steal the part off the line set. So I'm just going to grab the camera and we'll take a look. Okay, so this is a Dorman part here. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to put that on when I change the gasket, or yeah, the oil pan gasket. So just bear with me, I'm going to yank that out of there. Yeah, so that makes a lot more sense. I don't know why. They would have given me that other gasket because it would never work. That's strange. Or just a retainer to hold the uh, gasket and screws in position. So that's got to go up in there. So I'm going to have to reposition the camera here. sky high here. All right, so I'm just going to clean off the fasteners. I guess I could have checked to see if they were snug, but there's a lot of oil. I just wanted to replace it. inspecting to see if there, this is sighted in any way. I'd say it can go any direction. I'm glad I had that other part, otherwise I would have been wasting my time. I'll have to figure out what the other part is for though, just out of curiosity. Yeah, just snug it up. Wipe off some of this oil. Alright, let's go start up the vehicle and see if it gets spraying all over the place. success. While you got the vehicle up in the air, you should probably go around and grease everything. 